to another Just Enough Heshi show. And my Instagram followers, I want you to know, I'm so proud of you. That's like growing. Tom says I didn't have, you are now in the hundreds already coming from both Instagrams. I'm so proud of you guys. Keep watching, keep supporting me and George because uh, as we told you in the and, beginning. And let's not forget Nicole. Oh, I was, going, I was getting to her next, you know what I mean? Nicole, welcome back to the show. Uh, I, I, I first I introduced you because you and me are well, I made a mistake. I said something wrong. We are well-versed, not well-endowed. I don't know what, <laughs> what difference is. Maybe well, well, I'll take well-endowed. Oh what's God. when you have a lot of money? What is that called? Uh, that's not me. That's right. called an endowment. That's called Heshi. Endowment, right. That's called Heshi Tischler. Ah, <laughs> very funny. Oh, Anyways, yeah, um... Uh, Nicole, we missed you so much. How are you? You were, you were uh, moving. We were making fun of you. A baby grand piano? What is not a baby? What's a big grand piano? It's, it's just slightly slightly less big than and, a grand piano. And here's what I asked her. Do you know how to play? And she says no. 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 <laughs> it, it, belonged, it belonged to my stepmother. She passed away four years ago. And so, she, she left it to Sarah for right. piano lessons. So I now I have this beautiful... Does Sarah play it? She's starting to learn. Oh, yeah? But yeah, oh. but I have this... Beautiful Nicole, since you're a Democrat, will you let the migrants play it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, George. At yeah. least, you know, we're, we're not even five minutes in. <laughs> right, right, right. But um, uh, I, I, I'm, I want you to know, guys, uh, you can call to the show, 646-974-1580, 646-974-1580, and we're going to really start the show in about uh, two minutes. Um, I don't know, why am I hearing echo? Do you hear me clearly? Yeah, I hear you fine. Oh, I hear beautiful. You're, you're, you're coming through fine. I'm good. I, I do have a very nice voice. I know that. Anyways, um, I want to You know what I love about you, Hashi? You're very modest. I am. Yeah. <laughs> you know, George. All the humility I, in the world. I, I, you know, I don't have an ego. That's number one. What? Well, look at those eyes. I hate when you make those vicious killer eyes. You <laughs> sink your I, I heart right through me like it burns me. He did me. It too. <laughs> he did not do it. You went right through my heart. I feel it. I, 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 some politician told me that about a month ago. I almost, uh, I almost had a heart attack and I attacked him and in front of his wife. I was like, what are you, full of crap? I was like, <laughs> everybody has, a, has an ego. No, That's no. I, people, I, of course, I, I, I don't want to feel uh, a stepped on and down, but I know that who I am. I'm a, I'm a regular guy. I don't want to be a, a, a spit on, but I do feel. Uh, that I, I'm not egotistic. I mean, yeah, I, I feel uh, that if I know something and I'm very good at what I do, I will tell you about it, that I know what I'm doing very, very good and you should pay me for it. And I do a lot of uh, charitable work and because I know what I'm doing. You know what I mean? That, that's why I'm able to do it. Anyways, um, what else do I want to tell you? Uh, Nicole, I have a lot of questions for you this week. I love it. We, you, you know why, George, right? Are you? Oh, 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 oh. Supreme Court. Are you prepared? I mean, Nicole was wrong right across the board, time after time. Actually, you asked me how I thought the Supreme Court would rule, and they ruled exactly as I thought they would rule. What are you talking about? Do, do we, I agree with you it? Said, no. You said he's going to lose. No, I, I said that states should be allowed to put who they want on the ballot. But then you asked, how do you think they're going to rule? And I, I said, unfortunately, I think they're going to go Trump's way. I but what happened? What she hold did on, not hold say on. that. Hold on a second. So what happened? What happened to the liberals on the court? Nine to O. Oh. Nine unanimous. to O. Oh. It was unanimous. Nine to O. Oh. Even the liberals know that the Constitution. So what disappointing. You mean you want to so break? You want to break the law? What can you imagine? You go vote in Illinois, and they by some or they knocked out RFK for some reason, and Trump wouldn't be on the ballot. I mean, imagine what a third world country you live in that there's only one guy to vote for on the ballot. I mean, Russia. That's crazy to me. And you should be, if anybody, the legal person, the, you know, I was telling you last week, Le Nicole, Legal people can differ in opinion. No, no, no. You have to follow the law. If anybody follows the law, it's you. And you're allowed to vigorously follow the law, but you can't cheat. What's, what vigorously you do is you cheat. What's vigorously follow? What's vigorously follow? Is that a legal fight, term? No, you fight, you do your research, but when you know you're lost, accept it, don't cheat. Don't do something to cheat or play games or try to abuse the system. To, uh, what do you think is abusing the system? Like, listen, it went through the process as it should. The Supreme Court made a ruling. He's going to go back on the ballot. And, and then, so you know, what's and then next up for the Democrats the, uh, to get him off the ballot? April, Maybe like April 25th, the immunity. So what's next? They're going to have like a voodoo doll and put pins through them? Like the Democrats are running out of options yeah. to I, get him out. 
Anyways, I want to. I want to. I want to making sure he doesn't get the office. I want to welcome all of our listeners uh, at six twenty a.m. WSNR. I want to listen to uh, welcome our WNEW uh, FM HD three listeners and that little station in Florida WPVJIP. I don't even know your numbers, but welcome to the show. Oh my we have Nic- we welcome have Bu- Black Beauty and and all our loyal listeners. And, I, and, and well, welcome back to Nicole, who I missed last week, and my delicious, wonderful friend. Uh, t- uh, uh, George, I don't even know his name. We're going to an event afterwards tonight <laughs> to a bar mitzvah that uh, we're allowed to come for dessert. So me and George, we're hungry, so we're going to stuff Are up because they real? didn't... you You're crashing a bar mitzvah for dessert? Well, you're uh, taking uh, the Greek with we, you? Yeah, I know, because they didn't invite us for the meal, so we're hungry enough that we're going to get the double dessert. They have the wrong <laughs> what guy. What kind of charade is this? <laughs> I want you to know something. Uh, this week, but we're going to start the show, Nicole... I was telling you about Assemblyman Helen Weinstein. So here's my thing. We're going to do the commercials first. Who's been there 43 43 years. Without any competition. Mm. Okay. And they they both sides gave it to her because she was playing around with everybody. She was. Everybody knows that she was doing stuff under the table like Menendez, but she never got caught because she was a lesbian. So uh, why does oh my god? Because lesbians we, get we away don't, with we stuff. don't know that lesbians for a fact. get away That's with stuff. She That's lives with her girlfriend in, in Manhattan. Do you what? have photos? Can you prove that? She, she admits openly she's gay. Who cares? I do. Why? She? A politician, a representative. Now a politician of shouldn't be gay. We're back to this. Are you representing the gay community or the regular community? Every community. What right. does it matter? Exactly. Right. You're, you're straight. Saying, Do you represent saying, the straight saying, community no, 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 or the I'm gay go, community? I'm going to be helping the gay Of course I'm going to represent so you. What you're, difference you're saying does elected it make? can't be gay? That's crazy. No, they shouldn't be gay. You know, we Aye. have a... <laughs> yeah, 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 if they're gay, they're gay. There's nothing I can do you about know, it. You know, we have a councilman in Staten Island that represents parts of Brooklyn, David Carr, and he I is, know. he's gay. We have to get rid of him. <gasps> Anyways. Oh, God. He's a great councilman, by the way. George, you it was a joke. I was joking. But let me just tell you, Helen Weinstein, I knew it all along. She was too old. So she kept saying she's going to run. And Kalman Yeager kept saying right. he's not going to run. And I knew the game. I was ready for it. Okay. And we then helped get another candidate up there to smoke Kalman out. And it ended up Helen Weinstein, which we knew couldn't run or raise money. She ended up putting out a statement that she's not running anymore. Two hours later, that Kalman swears that he didn't want to run for a city for assemblyman. Two hours later, he announced his candidacy for the assembly, well, which it means... It wasn't two hours later, but... It, it was, was two hours later that I saw it pop up. Yeah, it was a couple of days later, but it did yeah, happen. Right. You know? So anyways, Kalman now is officially running for the assembly seat. So here's the deal. If Kalman wins the seat, which in April he gets his signatures, and we know that... No, no, no. He doesn't win the seat till November. He's got to go all the way to November and wait for the actual election. That's if there is a ele- November election. There will be a November no, election. No, if he wins both parties, then there's no election. Well, that guy, R- Rec, might run against him, and you who, still... Who, do, uh, but if he wins the Democratic primary, Dweck is out. And if he wins the Republican primary... It's still got to be official till November before he wins officially. Well, I hear that if she resigns and he wins it, he automatically... He's not going to resign. She's not going to resign. She's going to... Why would she resign and... Not get a paycheck. She's she gets go a paycheck. She de- once she works till June, she gets a paycheck to the end of the year. She's gonna go all the way to the end. She's gonna go on a farewell tour. That's what these people do. Well, they, she's too. All I know is, no matter what. How does this affect your? Bit? So my Explain thing is that. very simple. He's my d- a, a councilman who beat us. Sure. So once he vacates the seat, George is going to be in charge of my special election campaign which we've already, and now we need you people to donate to my campaign. It'll be a special election. It means the mayor has three months to call an election. We go out, we get signatures, and boom, an election is called. Not a Democratic Party, not a Republican donate? Party. Well, they don't know it. That's the problem. No, no. You said you need donations. Why don't you drop that Oh, link? right. Heshi, we're where? going to get to that in a minute. So let's 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 do our commercials. Where do they go to make a donation, Heshi? Heshitishler.com. I don't know if they, they're, not, they're going to be very upset the producers. They have a system on how to do things. Right, producers? So we're going to start with Green Line first. Green Line uh, Building Compliance. I'll go quickly. Don't worry about it. 202 Forster Avenue. I'm going to be just like Tom. Brooklyn, New York. 11230. We have parking in the back. We're licensed DOB expediters. General contractors. We're not really contractors, but we have the licenses to help you and guide you. 718-871-0382. Now he brings up the wrong commercial on the screen. HGTishler.com. I told him Green Line Building Compliance. 202 
Fast Avenue, 718-871-0382, 202 Forster <laughs> Avenue. If you're ever in trouble with any building problems, HPD problems, DOB problems. Today I had a guy with OSHA problems, and I even helped him get out of trouble with that. Call me at my office, 718-871-0382. Now, I know that our producer calls it Verba Gerba Gooba and Verba Gooba. I know right. that it's Wright and Gruber. He made a mistake. I know it's the right name. Wright and Gruber Law, where I have my beautiful Nicole sitting right here in the office from Wright and Gruber Law, 1720 NJ34, Wall Township, New Jersey, 07727. I'm giving you the zip code in case you want to, I don't know why. <laughs> Seven three two. Well, what kind of what kind of law did they wait, do? Wait, you didn't let me say the phone number. Seven three two six nine five three three zero three. Seven three two six nine five three three zero three. You do real estate and bankruptcy law. Real estate, bankruptcy, foreclosure, defense, wills, trust, and estate planning. Foreclosure. What do you mean foreclosure defense? That that means I save people's houses. When I you're love you. You when see, you're about to be foreclosed that, on. That's my job. I love you. That is exactly what I want to do more. I mm-hmm. I help people now. You are a beautiful lady. Thank well, you. I thank you. You are. We work and in now. Jersey in New York. Stop New by. New Jersey and New York and uh, Ver- Verton Gruber Law at George Verton Gruber. Isn't that your... George Weitengruber, yeah. Weitengruber. You said Verton Gruber. German name. No, it's Weitengruber. Weitengruber. German I name. said it wrong, but either way, the Sorry. phone number is right. 732-695-3303. They can save you. Call them. Anyways, Crossroads and, 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 and Nicole, I know you think I'm going to say it. I love Crossroads. Uh, a young girl, 24, 425, I went to her funeral, mother of three, depression. Mm-hmm. And we don't care. I'm going to be speaking to a lot of women next week, but we don't care. I know people think that postpartum depression, depression is stupid. A little pill solves the problem. Do you hear me, Instagram people? Do you hear me, YouTube people? A little pill solves the problem. I understand that sometimes the mixture doesn't work. You need three pills, five pills, but come on, at least try. No reason for you to jump out the window. Today I had a prank phone call. You know these people, they call these telemarketers, call you all the yeah, time? Yeah, 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 yeah. And they call you crazy things. And I just couldn't take it. It was the seventh call of the day when he calls me. He says, so how is everything? I said, oh my God, I want to kill myself and jump out the window. Oh my God. And I start screaming, I'm jumping, Linda, I'm jumping. The guy is screaming on the oh phone. No, don't jump. Don't jump. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> the guy, well, he was making a fake phone call to me. He's trying to sell me Medicaid and Medicaid. I told him I don't have it. And he kept selling it, so I said I'm jumping out the window. Oh, it was so good that I hung up on him. By the way, let's be clear. I think he'll He's, call me back. When you're talking to women, uh, are they at a strip club? Like, where, where, where is the... I mean, you got to be a little clearer. What women? When people hear, like, you're going to be talking to a group of women next right. week. So I, we're, we're going to get to that in a minute. Uh, Crossroads, a very serious uh, 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 place. With the, with They help you with your mental illness. Uh, they help you with uh, depression. Um, they are um, to, uh, located at 206 West Parkway Drive, Suite 1B, Egg Harbor Township. It's in New Jersey, 206 West Parker Drive, Egg Harbor, Town, Egg Harbor Township. But don't be scared. You can just call them. Call them at 609-645-2146. It doesn't call us any money. Just give them a call. That's admissions. You come down. They'll help you. They'll show you. They'll insurance you. They'll not insurance you. Call them up, 609-645-2146. Crossroads, very important for your mental health. They help you with so many things. And just call them. Maybe they'll give you some advice. And then, of course, we have heshitishler.com. Guys, go to my website. I'm about $6,000 away from the goal. $20, $25, $175. Come on down. I'm going to a speaking event in Queens on Monday to a women's prayer group. Uh, But not only a women's prayer group. Young women, older women, and religious, Jewish, I'm sorry to tell you. Why, why, why are you sorry? sorry? Yeah, no, because you, sorry? You, you think I speak to all women. I do speak to all women, but this is a particular group. So Nicole won't be there. So They're religious. No, she can come. <laughs> she can come. No, no, there's not religious. Also, I'm saying, but it's a Jewish women's group, and I'm going to have a reporter follow me. He wants to know why people give me $175, because I tell people to give it to me. I tell them, listen, this is the max you can give me. I need to get to my number right. I help people. Today, example, I had a guy who got into OSHA trouble. Huh? No charge. Nothing. I said to him at the end, can you donate to me 175 bucks? Click, 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 click. All I do is make a call. Get Now, I might still have to represent him in the future and bill him. But right now, all he needed was a phone call. Yesterday, I was sitting here in the office. I didn't feel good. I chilled out. Some lady walked in, and she went to 10 other people, and she called me before. No charge. I sat an hour with her, not feeling well. And as she left, I said, 
would you like to donate $175? Now, my services are $750 an hour. I could. I don't even bill that. Okay, Wait a but minute. I be, but you see, my Rolodex. You're doing it wrong if you're not doing wow. it. Wow. Because, Nicole, my Rolodex is older than you are, okay? You're 33 years or whatever. Way right. to publish it, my age. Wow. Yet, so who doesn't know? You go the to the. Hold on. You go to vertigoobaloobaloo.com. I'm sure you can find you. You know, you know how she actually uses a, a Rolodex still. That's right. You have a, a problem Rolodex. with first of all, it's not a Rolodex. It's it's a it's the a, thing, the Rolly thing. No, 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 no. It, it's in a box. It's got a little now. lever like the bingo oh, yeah. machine. <laughs> <laughs> My Rolodex is thirty five years old. I know everybody and everything and I can get things done. So yes, what it took me so long to get there, that is all that money. You know, but uh, uh, so I want you to know that. So don't forget Crossroads and Heshitishla dot com. And I'll a, take a huge bucks. thank you to Black Beauty. She says I donate in installments. That's I love you, amazing. Black Beauty. Thank you so much. Anything you can do is great. Right, you know, right. We're you good don't, to go. You, wait, Anyways, yeah. I want to start my show. So hold uh, on one second before you start. You don't have to donate one hundred seventy five dollars. You can right. donate. 10, 20, right. 30 bucks, whatever you can. I have people who donate small. I, but again, when I go to my clients and friends and relatives, I say, listen to me. I don't want to bother you. I want to make my goal numbers. I've done good for you. I don't ask you for anything during the year. This is the one thing I need from you. And some of them are, are glad to, I don't want any money from them, you know. I have a guy with an emergency declaration. I ended up sending him somewhere else to do something else to find a solution. He said to me, what can I do for you, Heshi? I said, you can either give me a blue label or 175 bucks. I really wanted the blue label. You should have went with the blue label. I know. Stupid uh, me. Uh, Anyways, oh, I want to tell you a funny story, Nicole. I'm embarrassed. I got in trouble. I went to my friend's wedding. Beautiful wedding. His daughter, uh, anyway, beautiful wedding. Her daughter's husband passed away, and she found this beautiful boy to remarry. A little shorter than her. That's okay. Beautiful guy. Anyways, um, when we were put on a seat. He was only allowed a certain amount of seats, so we were put in a special section, and he put me in the section where there's no women. I like to sit in the mixed seating, but Linda didn't come in. He put me in the Probably religion. Probably knew you were a married man. He's trying Whatever. to keep you So honest. I sat over there, and most of the tables were mixed, even the religious. I'm sitting there, and everybody walks out. They go dancing and stuff, and there's some nice books on the table, and I see this gorgeous bottle of Glen Fittage 21. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a very fancy bottle. Very, I would Bottle say, easy uh, whiskey. liquor, whiskey. Oh. At least about 152. And I never had the 20. It's not the cheap stuff. It's not the cheap stuff. It was sitting there like, I just couldn't believe it. And nobody opened it. These tables really, they don't drink. And there was a rabbi next to me, and I was joking with him. I said, you know what? And I took the bottle. I said, nobody's taking it. I put it in my jacket. It's no, a joke. No, no. Yeah, you, I put, you put it in your jacket? So it was a joke. It was a joke in my jacket. And I told him I'm taking it. And he said, we both laughed. And I said, he's my best friend for 40-something years. He wouldn't mind me taking the liquor, even 50 years. So I walked out with the liquor. <gasps> Are you kidding? You stole it? I stole it? I took it. I borrowed it. I told everybody. I, I didn't know that you can't take the liquor. That's stealing. It's not stealing. I took it. Stealing I without permission. No, no. Everybody's at a wedding. It's like take, not taking from the sushi bar. What do you mean? It's open to the public. Everybody take whatever you so want. It means you pour a glass. You don't take the whole yeah, damn you, bottle. You, you, you pour a glass. You pour a actually. glass. Wow. So anyways, I took the whole bottle. <laughs> <laughs> this is news to you? And I, did, I didn't think anybody really would mind or, or notice it. Anyways. Notice it? You just told me it's the most expensive bottle of whiskey I've ever no, heard it's of. the most expensive. It is more expensive. Anyways, as I walked out with the bottle, um, I went home. <laughs> and I stopped off on the way and I left the bottle in the car. Um, I get a call from him uh, about two o'clock in the morning. He says, Heshi, somebody came over to me and said, you took the bottle of liquor. I said, he says, Heshi, I wanted to really drink that liquor. It was the best bottle. I called him back. I said, Moshi, I didn't know that I couldn't take the liquor. I felt like it, I just wanted it and you wouldn't mind if I took it. And I didn't make no excuses. Well, at least you fessed up to it. Yeah, oh, I, 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 I don't hide. Did you bring it back? So I, the next day, I, b I brought back the bottle plus two additional bottles, a blue label and another Glen Fittich of, that I bought for him. He says, well, you didn't have to do it. I says, no, Moshe, I wanted to show you I have enough liquor. I just had it right there, and I didn't feel like going to the store, and I thought it was a cool thing to take home and put right there on the Shabbos table. I, I just didn't think you'd mind. <laughs> he, he had 10 other tables. Why would he mind for a stupid bottle of liquor? I know at my weddings, where my things I put on. Because you bring it back, and usually you don't pay for what you usually need. Supposed to drink on premises. Yeah, I mean, whatever you didn't drink, you don't pay for. You okay, I got you. I figured that out already by now. Anyways, Linda, I'm, I'm gonna. How tell old are you again, Ashley? Sixty years yeah. old. I guess I'm not. Old the, I'm, not I'm not the brightest one. I know. I know. Even Linda says, "Go take it back now." I said, "It's two o'clock in the morning. Are you crazy?" Anyways, um, 
I hired Linda to be a supervisor uh, for my team of superintendents. We have a few supers and porters. She's not already that work the supervisor of your life. So you no, she, well, I know she tortures me. This way, I'll get her out of my life by working that job. She's definitely the treasurer. So we had, a, <laughs> of course, she's. You should see that pocketbook packed in the hill. So. I, I, at the beginning, I taught her how to do staff meetings, you know, meet them every Friday, discuss it. So one of our weekly staff meetings, Linda made a, ca a casual comment to one of our older, longer-serving superintendents about his shaggy mane hair. Big. Uh, mm -hmm. And Linda then went on to express to him and the others that the virtue of a good haircut, which she insisted and pointed at me, that, and I wasn't happy, she says, it makes elderly men look younger and younger <laughs> men seem more mature. I said, I was not elderly, but she pointed at me. So, uh, 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 so this Yossi said, how would a haircut make a middle-aged man like me appear? And Linda says, still employed. <laughs> I was so proud when she said that. He shut his mouth. He has a nice haircut from now on. I want you to, he even does the nose, hairs, and everything. It was very good. Anyways, here's my quote of the day, my dear children. And this is for me, okay? I know about the bottle of liquor. Do what is right, not what is easy, nor what is popular. Success is not how high you have climbed, but how you, have, you make a positive difference in the world. I'm going to be elected. I'm not going to be a big shot. I'm not going to make the deals. And that's what people are upset about. Well, Heshi, you're not going to make the deals. We can't work with you. My job is not to make the deals. My job is to serve the people. Yes, I'll make a deal to serve the people, but not to give away Cadillacs and things to the big boys. And the big boys. How about prepaid them. debit cards? Again, there's a bunch of things that I'm going to change. I'm going to try to sit with the mayor now over the next few weeks and have, a, uh, have an appointment to, to go review some stuff and explain to him my theories, even though he's a Democrat, but my theories. And I believe that I'm the front runner, but there'll be other people to come up against me. And I'm hoping that the community comes out for me, all of you, come out to volunteer for me. I don't know when election day is, but the mayor will call it, and you'll be ready. And there'll be no Democrat, Republican, or independent party, uh, uh, but there's only going to be an independent party. So both sides can come out, vote for me, and both sides can sign my petition. Yeah. Anyways, here we go with the show. Nicole, plain, simple, bottom line. Oh, you know where this is going. Yeah, I tell you what. Trump won 9 to 0, jump in the lake. He's going to be the next president. And there's another court case. And he won 14 states. In one shot. Not with 14 states. He won in a one shot on Super Tuesday. Yeah, he lost Vermont, though, I think. Big deal. Okay, <laughs> Does know. Vermont even count as a state? Uh, well, it was part of New York at one time. But I'm sure it was. If voted for Trump, Ver how could Vermont be part of New York? It was all the, it's all the way. It up. was part of New York for one brief time. It's not far from the upstate. I area. think it was New Hampshire. But anyway, it doesn't look. We don't live. There. You see how popular Trump is, and not only that, he's popular where a lot of the fed up. Do you know that the black people uh, voted 90 percent for Biden? Now it's down to 63 percent. So we're going to get it. The only other person that might help Biden, which is against him, is Talisha Balu, or whatever Balu her name is, you know, the Arab crazy woman. Talib. Talib? Talib. She's, she's a part of the hater. squad? Yeah. Yeah, she's, yeah. yeah. she's a hateful, vicious, whatever. Anyway. All like adjectives. Yep. So my point to you is, is here's my next question. April what 25th. Was the first, question? first question was, you know, he won nine to zero. I, I think she she reads the newspaper. You're right. So right. she watches television. So based on Nicole, this, are you literate? Yes, so yes, I am. Based on this decision that Trump won the case where you can't take a federal person off the ballot, and they also added in that you have to be convicted. Only Congress can knock him off, and Congress did not convict him, so he's not he's not guilty of anything. You can't take him off any ballot. The immunity. Uh, uh, case that's coming up on April 25th. Do you think he'll win or not? If he wins, it's over. I don't know that it's over per se. But Why? You can't touch him. If he has presidential immunity... The Democrats will come up with something else. But and you can't. Presidential immunity and overrides greatest, everything. And my greatest fear, and I'll say it again and again, I hope the uh, Trump people have good security I, I, and protect, protect them as a candidate because I think some of these People, you it's hear It's not them? Democrats that started an insurrection, though. No, that's the thing. It's what insurrection? There was nobody. It's not started. Democrats that started that, right? So, well, if clearly, anything, they say the FBI did start. Uh, I, I, if I remember that's... right, in 2020, the Democrats were the one with the burning buildings down. Right. With you the, know, in 2020, with the, with the, BLM the Democrats. Are you talking about the, the BLM stuff? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not only here, it was all over. The, in, in Seattle, Washington, taking over streets, allowing right, them. 
that was not about political parties. That was civil unrest dealing with how police dealt with the black community. Oh, stop. That was, it was well, all stop Democrats. That was a completely was, different no, issue. You're trying to split hairs well, where they well, don't let's fit. Ask, well, let's ask the attorney, does he clear the immunity case? I don't know. I, I think What's this your, is wow. Wow, she's I don't scared. Know. No, Give I'm us an answer. Scared. What I do think, you think? I think this is a bit of this is a bit of an unpredictable court. But, but, but what um, would you if you were sitting on the Supreme Court right now and you had to follow the Constitution? Don't make me rip do it I out think of my he pocket. Gets presidential immunity? I don't think anyone is immune to the law, right? Sure, so, these presidents kill people. But he, he presidents the, kill people. They not with, ordered not with their murders. Own hands, but not with their own hands. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Well, the not, conspiracy to kill doesn't count. One second, though. Democrats believe the Constitution. Is not firm. It's a living document. It is. See, that's what Democrats believe. Okay, and that's. I mean, a, <laughs> and by the way, I mean this presidential immunity he wants after his presidential term. So even no, if no. you try to keep a rigid view, I've he, heard from people in Washington. Happened, documents these, are all over people's homes, all over sure, DC. Sure. You know, it, absolutely. Uh, this is not out of the realm of possibility that he took documents home or. And Russian by the collusion. way, I, I, that's happened. That's happened with Biden. That's happened with a lot of. So why are they coming both, after uh, both parties. Hillary? Why are they coming after him? Because he was the most uncooperative. That's really what it comes down so to. So you don't put Biden. So you Biden go, turned so you, over. So you find they, him. They found documents in Biden's house. He turned them over and he cooperated. This guy decided to be an asshat about it for years. Refused to comply. Yes, with a one subpoena, year, half a year. More two. Refused to comply with a subpoena. And is doubling down and pretending, well, uh, uh, I guess they're unclassified because I said so. After right. his president's, president's allowed to unclassify. After his term. How do you know when he unclassified? Because it was on TV. No. After the term. He might have declassified it while he was president. But he, but he didn't. The How do you point know? Is he, because he didn't. He said it after the no, term. No, he said it. he said he did it in the middle of the term. Bull. Okay. Bull, yeah, in his sleep, I'm sure. All Bull. I know is, he, That's he, the he, what were you he think was he was going to do? He's going to use it for Russian collusion and they, they, they lied about that as well. How come we didn't get that done? When you submit documents to the federal government or the state, false documents, that is called right there alone a misdemeanor. How come Hillary didn't go to jail? How come or the steel? All those people who created those Hillary sat through an 11-hour horse and pony show of a congressional hearing that came up with this much. But she gave in well, the paper. she was very good at right. erasing the emails. Right. Though. Really? This, we're back to the emails. Well, I mean, she gave, are we emails? Back to the, oh. she gave it the steel dossier. We're back to the emails. She, well, she made the steel dossier. This is what we're, this, this is what you're going on. Oh, so Trump taking home two pieces of paper it is wasn't automatically two pieces of paper. Right, hold on, hold on. Excuse it was, me. It, it was, was rooms more. full no, 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 of boxes. I saw it to five, six boxes. No, no, yeah, no absolutely was, not. Be it, real. It was I a have, whole room full of documents. Oh, like, thank you. Okay, not a whole room. It was a few boxes. I saw it. It wasn't that bad. Anyways, I'm telling you that Trump you're, should get. And by a, the way, we're talking a room at Mar-a-Lago. You know, we're not which talking is a, large. We're not talking a room in Williamsburg apartment. You know. Who's going to be the vice president? I heard it's Noam or Telsey Gobert. The lady upstate has no chance. What's that lady's name? Elise? Uh, uh, Elise uh, Stefanik. They say she, even though she's the most qualified, they're making it to... Uh, it, it doesn't really help him. So he needs, you know, Telsey Gabbard, he needs... He, has he needs issues. a woman. There's no question he, he about it. He has issues with women. There's no question about it. I think women So you try him. to fix your... Didn't you forgive him of any... Oh, hold uh, on. As a vice president, you try... Uh, for a vice president, you try to fix the issues in your ticket. So he's bleeding I still up. don't believe you give a woman uh, the job of vice president because she's a woman. She has to oh be qualified. No, Stop I'm it. Not, I'm not, I agree with that. I'm, okay, I'm and that's what you're giving. I'm not Telsey on your case Gobert, about that. Telsey Gobert is nice. No one oh, is oh, nice. But you're not saying... But there's more people qualified to be vice president than these two. Wait, hold on a second. Who? Why is Telsey Gabbard not... Uh, Qualified. She She's served qualified. Congress. She's qualified. She served in the military. Right, right. I mean, what does she have to do? You know who I'd rather have? Who? Oh. There's so many people in the Senate that I'd rather take right off the job. Who, who are you going to take off the Senate? Mitch McConnell or one of those uh, he, old He really pieces? does need to go. That's her. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, how about Senator Menendez? You know, I know he's going he's to He's got to go, too. He's, yeah. The, and he's not going. You know, they got... That's Nicole the Senator. They got, listen, and I'm the first one to tell you. Well, he's got to go, too. The, you know, George, the guy they just threw off, what's his George name? George Santos? George Santos. Right away, he did something wrong. He wasn't even convicted. Wasn't they threw right him away. Off. They had a hearing. Okay, but they threw him wasn't off. Wasn't right away. Senator Menendez, they didn't throw off and have a hearing. He, Why? He's going through his hearing now. He's going through the legal process. He's going through court cases of criminal As hearings. He should. But the Senate should have thrown him out in their hearing. Agreed. And they didn't. Agreed. So Democrats the, have one set Senate, of rules and Heshi, Republicans don't have. But the Heshi, the Senate is a little more different, is a, is a little more different, is a lot different than the uh, the House of Representatives. It's a good, it's, if there's a good old boy network, it's definitely the Senate. 
Well, if you get those rid people of serve for six years and they get very that's comfortable true along with party lines, though. What the Republicans are quick to throw? No, out no, no. I'm own? saying it crosses not. party lines. They they work together. It's you a know that point network that, there. you know that most of those Democrats, if they still, or if they if they decide, and the Republicans to vote, are above reproach. Is that what no, you're no, saying? No, no. I'm saying, but this guy Menendez is guilty. You telling me that there are Democrats that are going to say stay Menendez? Actually, there are a couple that have had, that have chosen to give to give him the boot. I think he should have it. The right. problem is, it's not enough of them. There is enough between the Republicans and he'd be out. He'd be out if they found a body in his fridge. Ah. He's still, <laughs> they'd no. still, they'd be still Democrats. Oh, yeah. Let me talk to you about that. That keep him in there. I want oh, you to know right, in right. Long Island there was four people arrested for a body in the apartment, cut oh. up, ew, released without bail. No. no, I swear to God. Uh, let me read it to you. You're gonna love this. I, I couldn't believe it either. I was sitting there in shock, and it, it, it just killed me. Who um, were they? That well, they were maybe the body was there from the four, tenants before. <laughs> four arrested, released without bail after body parts found on Long Island. Um, it's just crazy. It's crazy. They got released, and it just doesn't stop. Well, Laheshi, they might have been from the tenants before. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. <laughs> and, 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 but this young girl, uh, uh, Rust Armored Hana Gutierrez, was found guilty of involuntary manslaughter because of a shooting on the set. Remember that girl that had a uh, gun? Oh, the Alec Baldwin thing? Right, the Alec Baldwin thing. Yeah. So she's going to get, what, 18 months for, for, for involuntary? Well, it's involuntary, though. It wasn't like she yeah, they, murdered so, her. So t- she used a gun on set that she thought was a prop. You're saying there. Can, the, uh, uh, why don't you just text us? The problem Please is that it was call loaded. us. I should call you. No. Oh. Oh, call us at this 646 974 1580. 646 974 1580. I know the phones don't work. <laughs> Please These call guys us. Don't Nicole is eagerly awaits. Right. Just yeah. enough has she at gmail.com. You can email for anything that you want. And I want you to know something. Um, during the, I just saw the numbers, Nicole, under Biden. 10,000 migrants a day are coming in. Hello? Did you hear me? I think that's low. <laughs> I think that's it's more than that. No, no, no. I don't care. Uh, Trump, only 1,000 were coming in. Now, where are you putting that stat from? It's coming I, straight out of CNN. That. It's coming out of Fox. Go go online. Go hey, check your Hashi, numbers. Come on, man. There's an election coming up. They need, the, they need those voters. <laughs> I, and that's what they're you know, saying. The well the and that's what they're saying. By the way, in San Francisco, they swore in a commissioner for the Board of Elections who's not even a citizen. And t- the punchline is she did the interview in Chinese for the Chinese media. Oh, my God. What? Yes. Okay. Yes, in San okay. Francisco. So that's coming to New York soon, too, probably. Yeah. Anyways, I am doing a speaking event Monday. I hope they, uh, I hope they bring that up on the screen. Uh, maybe they will, maybe they're not. It's called the Rosh Chodesh, a Jewish event, a special night of unity and prayer dedicated to the, surf, the safe return of our hostages and soldiers. So it's a beautiful event. Where can though. somebody buy a ticket? Uh, so, right, so the tickets are, uh, you can, a reservation for tickets, you can call tomorrow at 718-501. 5511 718-501-5511. The first 50 people get in for free. Oh, they don't say they don't get for free. They get free flour and ingredients um, <laughs> uh, uh, for reserving in advance and a bowl shifter, something like that. Uh, it's, it's a challah baking for, I guess they're going to give the challahs no, Never mind what they're going to gonna get for free. They're going to come no, no, out No, they're going to bake challahs. When women bake challahs for Shabbos, oh, it's, it's a, a very thing. holy thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. And they're going to make this. this but uh, they should uh, come out and support, no? Right. Mm-hmm. And these women are going to donate the challah the thing, and I'm going to be speaking to them. It's a special unity event. It's located at uh, where is it located? Somewhere. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, nine. It's called 6510 99th Street, corner of 61st Street uh, in Regal Park. Uh, 6510 99th Street at 6:30 p.m. Uh, it's a wonderful event. I wish they would have posted it on the screen. Uh, but you can call tomorrow at 718-501-5511. It's a ladies' event, and, and uh, it's just for women. You know just what I think? Women. We should make a dating segment called Holler and Chala. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> where, where we talk about the ins I, and outs forgot, of Jewish I, dating. By the way, I, f- I forgot to shout out to my Sergeant Peter, Ellie, my beautiful, gorgeous Mira Nava, my beautiful granddaughter, Leila Tamar, and, of course, most importantly, Yeshua, my grandson. By the way, you know I'm having a grandbaby next month. 
I mean, next week, two of them. Uh, one is coming in a week, uh, and the other one is coming in. Boy a or girl? Yeah, I'm telling you, it's a boy. I, I hear there's a bet going. There's a bet tell going. You want to tell us about, tell us the, about bet? the bet? If I win the bet, my son will have to bow and say yes sir, no sir. To like me. a Japanese person? Oh, yes, way. yes, exactly. That's the bow. Please tell him. And he cannot talk back to me at all. And here's the beauty. Really, well, for at least six weeks. Okay. Now, here's the beauty of this bet. He doesn't know I have inside information. They told my granddaughter if it was a boy or girl. She's five years old. And she wouldn't tell me if it's a boy or girl. Hello? Hello? Something happened. Anyways, it took me three bubbles. Why is he shutting off the phone? What's wrong with him? Hello, what? It's a, you get out. Anyways, it cost me three bubble gums, a slice of pizza, and a toy dog. What a wager. I know that. That's even so, more than uh, the scratch That's why off. he's shutting off my mouth. What does he get? Well, okay, let's be clear, though. What does he get if he wins? Yeah, he's yeah, he's yeah. going to... Oh, uh, look, now he's playing. <laughs> and he gets, I'm telling you, he doesn't get anything because I'm going to win 100%. It's a boy. But it's ending up costing me, it's going to cost me 1500 bucks. But I'm going to $1,500, yeah. that's the bet? That's the bet. But he's going, a stick of gum. He's, for $1,500, he's going to bow. What if he just gave, what if you just gave him the $1,500 and then he would agree to bow? And say yes, sir. No, no, no. Sir. He has an ego, not like me. I don't have no ego. No, of course yeah. not. No. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they finally learned how to do that. Do you know that there's an anti Semitic teen, there were anti Semitic teens terrorizing a Jewish teacher with Hitler jabs, death threats at a New York City school, and they refused to discipline them? They refused to discipline them. And I'm going to tell you all about it. Uh, right. uh, here you go. The kids, uh, uh, the kids all said Reich at Brooklyn High School has become a haven for Hitler-loving hooligans What's who the name terrorize of you. On October 26, just three weeks after October 7, um, Hamas killing, uh, the teens marched through Origin High School in Sheepshead Bay, waving Palestinian flags and chanting death to Israel and kill the Jews. And they didn't discipline them. And not only did they not discipline them, they still continue to go on. Whose district is that? Uh, that is Ina Vernikova. Oh, my God. Ina, one. D- I, I know. Oh no, not no, the word. Not Ina, that word. Not Any that word. Not I'm that not word. Not saying that word. Say but something else. I know you're a hateful person. Why does he keep shutting off the phone? What's wrong with you? I'm allowed to say whatever I want. This is America. I know you, my producer, doesn't understand that the great experiment, it's not an experiment, like Trump said the other day. This is an actual work. Well, I, I've said that too. It's a living I've experiment. That, I, I it's not a living experiment. It's a living document. But that is not all true. The same. It's all yeah. relative. You know, um, if the Democrats don't destroy our country. That's the experiment. That's right. <laughs> you know, I want you to know everybody says every week, every week, Nicole, Crime is down. Right, George? Crime is down. No more crime. Everything is over. No more crime. Do you know that Hochul today saw how bad crime is? I don't even want to tell you about the dead bodies, people being pushed. Here's the best crime. There's a guy dressing up as a priest and robbing churches. Priests themselves. As a priest? As a priest. He did it in Texas and Florida and all See, over. Am now I a jerk for thinking over. that's funny or what? And, and wait a minute. He's at all 180 dioceses in New York have his picture, but he keeps dressing up as a priest. It sounds like a movie. That really does. Well, he, he just robbed somebody over here in, in New York for $900 a priest. When, that, when he's arrested, can we buy the rights to his uh, story? Oh, you see, but all I know is Nash. So right now, Hochul is pissed. She's so busy with New York City, she doesn't care about the rest of the state. What has she done? She's now bringing in 750 uh, national guardsmen. Wait a minute. 250 uh, transit uh, uh, guards. And she's you mean police department? Whatever. Transit. It's not really police. Sp- additional transit somethings. Maybe it's from Port Authority. And uh, first of all, I don't know. Or, or it could be state police. Okay. And here's my thing. They're going to start checking bags. That's illegal. Isn't that illegal? No, so she said, why not? Not necessarily. You can't pull if me there, over on the street a, and say, public... so you can't pull me over on the street. It's not a public event. No, I'm in not saying church, a public event. If you let train. me finish, I can hold finish on, my point. On, but please, on, by all means, go, go on. No, no, I'll be quiet. By I'll all means. I'll be quiet. Oh, that's a first. Let's hear it. What? What? Is there a call? What happened? Okay. So if there is a public interest in maintaining safety, and by the way, this is in part thanks to the Patriot Act, but we, we'll, go, we'll get there later. If there is a public interest in maintaining safety, then they are allowed to search bags. They're not searching for, for 
weed or drugs or whatever, they're making sure that there isn't an unauthorized weapon in the bag, that there isn't a bomb in the bag. Israel does stuff like this all the time. They call it checkpoints. So you would have checkpoints that would be installed in subways and places where potential terrorist threats might exist. Wow. Uh, by the way, I am not a supporter of the Patreon. Well, uh, well, all what, I what can we, tell you is to, to, to me, it's illegal. It's illegal for you to check my bag according to a First Amendment, Fourth Amendment, Fifth Amendment. I have a right to privacy. You cannot pull me over on the street so and you check don't my you ID. Search people on a plane again. It's and, yeah. I was going to say so, if that's the case. You don't you, then, then. So I understand that you stand in the transit authority and uh -huh. you watch, but you can't pull me over and check in my bag. What happens if I have something not kosher? Yeah, but but in the George bag? asked a very good question. They but check your she, bags to get on a, on a flight. Yeah, That's and it. actually, you go into a government building, they check your bag. I go to a convention. On a plane, we're telling you simple. I'm not letting you on my plane. Plane, which is privately owned. A plane, which is privately owned. I don't want you on the which plane. Which is so regulated by the government. Correct. And a lot of things are Te regulated by the, by the way, government. By the way, technically. So is television, which is privately owned. It's regulated by the government but that you can't have porn. So is a radio regulated by the government that you can't curse on the radio, but it's privately owned. You're going owned. down a rabbit hole. By the way, the, question. The, train is the, the trains, the subways in New York are not owned by the government. They're owned by the MTA. Correct. Which, which is, is the, a separate corporation, which, technically. No, no, no. You no, know, it's yes, a separate yes, yes, corporation so. run by the government, funded by the government. And who, who appoints the MTA commissioner? The governor and the mayors. Yeah, but it's like a board of directors. If I'm the biggest shareholder, of course I get to appoint uh, my board of so directors. So the government owns it. We're the ones. I can't believe I'm defending the MTA. Here. I know. <laughs> I hate the MTA. All I know is Hokel Capital. So everybody should just walk around with weapons in their bags and blow no, the no, trains no, up to the they, They've been doing so it till now. We don't really kill people in trains we have to stop crime so what we want you to do is put you don't you don't think that the, trains she, are, she, that the train system is is subject to terroristic put, attacks yeah but put people at every single station not to be checked but Hashi, once you pay the fare you are you entering to the terms you are agreeing to the terms of the subway system so if they want to search your bags i mean i don't like it but I think and what's going cop, on in the trains needs to get under like, control. And if a cop doesn't like you and he drops a little bit of cocaine in there? Yeah, they haven't been doing that anyway. What? You know how many cops have been caught doing stuff what, like that? What is this? The so Dukes much. of Hazard? What is the, the yeah, NYPD? Yeah, what does that have to do with So anything? you mean that the cops will have to have their cameras on to arrest you? They, they, they should anyway. And if they don't have it, that means you can't touch the person. So just check the bag. Okay. Okay. I, I know what? It's a very, very, very... If he, if she, and I don't yeah, know why, I I know why it, they're watching YouTube in the room when they should be watching the it's, Just Enough Hessian show. It's a slippery slope. I understand what yeah. you're saying, but you gotta. I come. I come to this with the mindset of an Israeli woman that grew up in Israel and and sees the the repercussions of how that could go poorly. Heshi, Heshi what was the last time you were on a train? Yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I was on a train. I'm not talking Amtrak, the subway. Uh, 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 I, I was on a train about a year ago. Yes. By accident? or <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. I parked my car in the city, and I had to go uptown, and it was very crazy, and I jumped on a train. I went to the Bronx. You know, if you become city the councilman, there's not much parking downtown, so you're going oh, no, to have to take no, the no, train. No, 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 no. No, you're making a mistake. City Hall has its own parking lot. Oh, do they? The, yeah. The city council Animals. Here? And downtown Brooklyn, uh, the courthouse has its own private parking lot. I don't think the city council, because I know my councilman takes the train a lot. Well, to, to the because he's cheap, and like all of them. Uh, and by the way, I am, I am, I am going to take the train, and I have friends who have their own parking lot, so I'm not going to be using government funding. But you don't, you don't think that that our subway system is prone to to a possible terrorist attack? I do. I feel bad. And so, and and so, what are your, your what are your ideas? If you can't check bags, and what are your ideas, My ideas in, in are taking steps you, to you, prevent you, you, the same those possibilities? Can you ever drive on the George Washington Bridge? Sure. Okay, there's a cop sitting there with his lights on. <laughs> do you actually that does for absolutely years nothing. for years? Do you think nothing. he deters any terrorist attack that could blow up that bridge? Listen, with the amount of traffic on that bridge at any given time of day, <laughs> nobody can, can kill, deter. You it. can kill everybody. Sure. So what is he sitting there taking up a lane and doing nothing about? Bothering us. Well, they have one of those guys on the Brooklyn Bridge for until a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, this is, yeah. It's, I mean, it's it's. They have it's him on the Verrazano too. I just, just saw him. 
Right. I don't even see the guy. I never even see the cop come out of the car and just right. look like scan cars. Right. Verrazano, this they are watching and they kind of catch they speeders. Sometimes they catch you. And they, right, but in the in the Brooklyn Bridge, you can't. First of all, it's like impossible. But it's a, it's a matter speed. of response and lead time. I assume that's why they're there. At least I hope so, because then otherwise they're totally useless. There's no right? response and lead time. Right. It's, it's a matter the of response and lead so time. The traffic is so bad that those cops wouldn't be able to move for five minutes. Sure, and that's that is by itself a vulnerability. But right. I think our subway system has always been particularly vulnerable. I'm surprised nothing's happened on it to this point, to be right. honest. Right. They are particularly vulnerable. They're London, the London system, and something happened. Yeah, something happened. Years. And something Japan, years. too. There right. was a gas released in Japan. It, uh, there was a cult that released the gas. Yeah, something. and and, and if, if this is a small measure, yes, it's an invasion of privacy. Well, there was it's a, a guy nuisance. last year who shot some some people on the train. If you want to Oh, that was the end train, right. yeah. So if you want to do something bad, you don't need the train. You can walk into any government building and shoot the guys. Not really. You can, no, you can't. You're shoot. getting because you get searched on the way in. And no, no, if you get searched through the protector. But till you get to the protector, right when you get to the front door, you take out your gun and start shooting. Nicole, uh, let, me, let me ask you a question. When you walk into government buildings, don't, don't they let you walk through the lawyer entrance? No, you still have to put your bag through. Oh, you still have to put your bag yeah. through? I was just wondering. Yeah, you, you can show a bar card, and, and you know they don't they don't frisk you or have you they walk don't through, make but you, you got to put, right, but, but you still put your bag through nonetheless. Oh, okay. I didn't know. You know Green Line walking. Building Solutions. 202 Forster Avenue, Brooklyn, New York, 11230. L licensed DOB expediters, architectural firm, violations. We go to court, 718-871-0382, 718-871-0382. And then, of course, Wittengruber. Weitengruber, there you Gruber. go. I liked it. Weitengruber, it's much better than Wittengruber. <laughs> Weitengruber, the cornerstone of financial justice. Wright and Gruber Law, they do bankruptcy, uh, they do uh, real estate law, and now I found out they do uh, foreclosure law, which is very nice yeah. that they help save people. Give them a call at 732-695-3303. 732-695-3303. My girl uh, will pick up the phone for you, in the call. 1720 New Jersey 34. They work in... New Jersey, Wall, Wall Township, New Jersey, and New York City. Very nice people. And then Crossroads, a very favorite, uh, one of my companies that we advertise, very good people uh, for your mental health. If you have any issues, give them a call at 609-645-2146, 609-645-2146. They're located in Egg Harbor Township, 206 West Parkway Drive. Again, Egg Harbor Township, 609, I'm saying the number slow, 645 Two one four six, and don't forget heshitishla.com. We Me got big guys. shoes to fill. We're, we're, we're missing well, time. I'm good to go. Uh, something. Oh wow, it's popping up again. My event is popping up on the screen. A lot of you radio listeners they cannot hear it, but it is on Monday, uh, uh, March eleventh. It is a challah for the uh, Purim uh, thing, a special night of unity and prayer dedicated to the safe return of our hostages and soldiers. So it's a special prayer where they make a challah party for the women. Uh, they're located at Chabad of Rigo Park, 6510 99th Street, corner of 65th Street, and uh, Rigo Park uh, Avenue or somewhere, I don't know where it is. Who cares? Just 65 10 99th Street. I think that's an important detail. But, say, yeah. but 65 call. 10 99th Street. They have put it and, into your way. And Friday is uh, International Women's Day. Did you know that? Oh, really? Yeah, March 8th. That's International is, when, Women's no, no, Day. No, I think it's it, but I think this is March is Women's Month, right? Yeah, March is Women's Month, and then when March do 8th. men get a month? Never. We get Father's Day if we're lucky. It's not fair that women get a whole month. You take our lives, you take our beds, and you we take give our you money. babies, and we give you legacies, and we give our kids your names, even though we carry them, and we give you homes, and we make your lives wonderful. And by the way, married men statistically live longer, so you're welcome. No, no, that's not true. Yes, Married women live longer. They no, kill we us. don't. No, actually, we, we, die we don't. Fast. No, no, we want to go. women live longer. We want to go. Trust me. Yeah, we they live longer, go. but they, you know, they have ten cats when they pass. Well, yeah, exactly. Um, my dear friends, uh, uh, the holiday season of Purim is coming. Uh, a time to give. I'm not asking for any charity to you, but I'm just telling you, go out and do some good. Uh, uh, I just want you to know something. The Gaza, the militant animal pigs. Oof. And I'm watching this. Oh, I'm going to bring it up. We're, on, we're coming on. to the end of the show. So I want to talk about it. I brought it up at the end. These people, uh, I saw a lady on a, on, a, on the Anderson Cooper. What's his name again? Anderson, Anderson. Cooper. CNN. Okay, so, right. He had a panel. And this lady gets up there. 
and starts talking bad about Israel. He says, do you know the, the Palestinian children are being killed? Nobody's watching them. We are the, and there was a, a, a commander of, of the American and a European a commander watching the Israelis. He says they are the best army, careful, and yeah. how they take care of citizens. But still, the United Nations, which is an illegal organization, and I don't have no problem because nobody... How's the United Nations a legal, an illegal they organization? Have no, they have no right to tell us what to do. And well, I know... No, but they pass resolutions. They, they pass resolutions that nobody listens I, to. Right, I, I, so you're going to tell Israel, give back the country. No, no, no look, I'm not ready to... go to hell with that. But, yeah, but the I'm, point is, it has to be unanimous, and America will never vote for them. Anyway, I'm, no. not, I'm not a UN guy, but I'm, I'm not, you know, it's not an illegal organization. Well, what know? I found even well. more, more disturbing is that after nearly five months since... Uh, actually, no, yeah, five months almost exactly since October 7th, it took them this long... Despite the footage, despite the videos, despite the testimony, despite the hostages coming back and relating that testimony and testifying themselves, right. suddenly the UN is finally acknowledged because at this point they can't deny it anymore. Oops. That, right. <laughs> that that sexual violence was perpetrated by Hamas and Hamas fighters but against we, women, right. against Israeli women, and continues to be. It but took them this but, long. But they're still claiming that we're being inhumane to the Palestinians, which is not... And you're in Rufa. Do you know that Rafa, what's that city we're right now in, the fighting at the end? Rafa? Rafa. Rafa, they're going to go in uh, right. on Sunday. So do you know that the, when the Rafa people killed a couple of hundred Egyptian soldiers, the Egyptians went into Rafa and blew up a whole town. You know yeah. that? Well, the Egyptians continue to have a, this fortified border. Right. So against the Egyptians, that nobody board, said a word. When along, they along Gaza, that, nobody says a word right. about it. That border That border looks like Fort Knox. A word, mm. yeah, because they don't want them coming into Boy, Egypt. So that's my point to you, that you have here animals. We're showing you tons. That, okay. The terrorists are the animals. Let's be clear on no, that. No, but you're making a mistake. Did you uh. see how the people, when they did the food drops, they beat the they well, beat, they, they they haven't beat eaten the driver in of a truck. Hold on a second. You haven't eaten in weeks. You're going to be running to a food drop-off. Stop. You know they're drop eating. Off. They're getting food. They're crossing over the border. They're getting this aid is extra stuff. I'm telling you for a fact, the black market there, they have more stuff than you, well, George. Well, no, right they're now. not getting the aid. Here's what's sad about it, and this is where I get very oh. frustrated with the, with the world at large is to sit here and blame Israel when Israel has been simultaneously fighting an enemy while trying to take care of that enemy's responsibility, right. which are the citizens of Gaza. The fact that we're not talking about Hamas stealing the aid and then putting it up on the black market for seven times what it's worth, these people can't, can't get it. The Gazan citizens are not getting the aid that they're supposed to. And the fact that this has been gaslit into having everyone believe that this is Israel's fault somehow is mind-boggling to me. You're now you're losing a war you started and then claiming yourself the victim. And, right, and it's the, infuriating. And, and they're saying we have Israel in the, in the, in the, where we want them. But I still and, and, don't and, hear no comments on their tunnels. Why do they have these tunnels? And What's the leadership, wrong with their tunnels? And the leadership is comfortable in Qatar having a great old time. They are yeah. not. They are not there leading the troops. No, no, no they're happy to, to risk their people. That's the thing: is everyone, Israelis and Palestinians alike, are being made to be human shields during this entire conflict. They don't care to kill our people. Lord knows it, and they're using their people as shields for martyrdom. It is the most infuriating thing, and the fact that the whole world seems to be eating this hook, line, and sinker. I don't understand. This is the first time in my life where it's starting to make sense to me how a Holocaust happened. Well, this is how it happened. We're never going to let that happen again. We, you know, people tell me about New York City, uh, the Holocaust is going to come back. Heshi, what are you going to do about it? Let me tell you something. Really? People uh, tell that? Come yeah, yeah, yeah. In New they're York? Coming, they're coming after us. They're going to get us. I said, yeah. let me tell you something. I'm here. I'm never, they're never coming for me. If they try, I'm going to fight back. I wish I was in Afghanistan and with an army. I would just crush them. I would wipe them out. I wish I was in Israel, but I'm not qualified to be a soldier. But if I had one, I would go shoot them in the heads one after the next. But I'm a New Yorker. Oh, Come after me. Oh, boy. I'm going to defend myself. I promise you I'm going to defend myself. I'm going to defend myself to the last bitter drop of blood that I have in my soul for me and my family. So try. Try to come after me. I know, I know. I know Trump is going to be killed and this is going to be killed. And I worry. I worry about that because that will, if something happens to Trump, God forbid, and Nicole should fear this too, uh, the, the country will tear itself yeah, apart. There will be a civil war if you kill this president. You kill him. Forget about killing him as president. I mean, they kill him honestly, as a candidate. With his it's, poor ass diet. He might kill himself and then what? Well, that's his problem. But if I just don't want anything to happen to him 
well, uh, you know, not not natural. We're Let's gonna we're that. gonna be you know? saying goodbye to our listeners at WSNR channel six twenty AM and WNEW and oh. uh, WVIPDZ whatever in, <laughs> in 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 Florida. But I want you to know, uh, my dear friends, that uh, the stupid Afghanistans are telling reporters to cover Afghanis. their face on television. I mean, that's crazy. You're a reporter. You have to report. I can't hear you through the mask. Today I saw somebody wearing a mask walking down the street. I said, are you crazy? Anyone wearing a mask is pretty much telegraphing to you who, how they're going to vote. Yeah. Oh, come on. Anyway, come but, on. Come Anyways, on. Let's, let's be honest. If you see somebody Some with a mask. Some people have a, a legitimate health concern. If you see somebody with a mask, I think Democrat. And this day. Really? Now, now, I want you to know, I was. Unless you're on a plane or a special, or you're in a medical office, you know. I was, when I was in trouble with the law uh, 12 years ago, um, they wanted information on me on gets. And I've been involved with 12 gets, helping women get their divorces. Yes, I go protest. Yes, we go scream and holler. But we do it the rightful way. And we give it a hard time. It takes seven, eight, nine years. There's a crazy young granny called Flatbush Girl. She's going screaming and hollering into the synagogues and threatening him. Okay, got you. She even threatened the Jewish community of Monroe and Curious Joe to bring the LGBTQ into the community to march into their Jewish homes. And she goes into the synagogue. It's actually pretty funny. It's pretty funny. Right, so she has them done. Here's what she now is doing. She's now starting a campaign to all religious women. I promise you, I know you're not going to believe me. Let's hear it. To hold back sex. To hold back sex from who? Like from their husbands? their husbands. For what? Till, till this, till, so their husbands should give pressure. There was, a, there was an ancient Greek play. I forgot the name of it right now. But the women would, would hold sex to stop the war. That's the, that's the gist of the play. And it's whatever. A whole drama ensues. So it, this is what it's based on. Well, the idea. point is religious women wouldn't do that. Number one. Or they say no mikvah night. Which means the women won't go to uh, be- the mikvah, which effectively would because the men that. can't force themselves. So a man Correct. can force himself on his wife, uh, but if she doesn't go to the mikvah, he wouldn't force himself on his wife. A man can force himself on his wife. He, she's his Under property. Under Jewish law, yeah, he, he's his property. She what? is the property of a man. That's wait, the whole objective. Uh, wait, Heidi, you're my property. I didn't know. You're not Jewish. <laughs> you signed the contract. <laughs> she signed the contract. According to Jewish law, contract is good enough. And you want, and this is you. You think this is going to encourage young Jewish mm. women to want Jewish marriages? So we have. Explain a, this to me. So let, let, let's so, let's let's take so, a recap, okay? So we have an Men option. can force themselves on their wives. Yeah. They don't have to give their wives the get. Right. So now, not only are you a hostage, you're you're a sex slave. That's Correct. what you're purporting. Correct. By the yeah. way, that's, oh. why, that's why we fight. Oh boy. For, that's why we fight. Oh boy. For the, that's why we fight for the gets. Now we have something called the prenuptial agreement that allows the Jewish girls out of it. It works ninety percent of the time. It's not a perfect agreement, but yeah, according to Jewish law, you are supposed to be married forever. And you're the property of the man. Pro- oh. I got to tell my wife that when I get home. <laughs> tell your wife and see if you survive. Well, yeah. I know you can make fun of me whenever you want. Yeah. Somebody so be withholding sex. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's why we fight. I fight when you when somebody. Do you, do you abuses believe that, Hashi? No. Oh, thank God. When you when you abuse a woman or you abuse, I have abused women by me that we've taken in. So over is the Linda years. your property? Is that what you're going to say? Is that what you? Linda, yeah, go ahead. Linda is my property theoretically. Linda, did you hear that? Excuse me. According to Jewish law, I own Linda, but huh? Linda has an out. Any time that she wants to leave, she has that right, but she can't take the money. Because she holds the money. She has all the money, so I'm not letting her go. <laughs> I'm going with her. If she leaves, I'm going. <laughs> Linda, don't leave me. I can't go. I, I, I want to go with you. I want so the next time you try to marry me off, Heshi, I want you to remember this conversation. You have to follow the rules. But I want you to remember no, this no, conversation. No, we're going to get you a prenuptial agreement. You're a lawyer, so you'll be you'll be more well versed than anybody else. Uh, uh, so that was. One Are you planning on going religious? Religious, Nicole? Why not? No, I'm no, I'm, I'm, just, I, I'm very I am very proudly Jewish. Anybody who knows me knows that much. There are things about the religion and its discourse between men and women that I've always taken umbrage with, and I've had a hard time with. Um, Jewish marriage is a big one for me. I I've been married and divorced, um, not by Jewish custom, very much on purpose. Only because of the get thing, I didn't even know this property deal, which forget it. The, the whole get thing bothered me to such a degree that for the majority of, of 
my lifetime. I refused a Jewish wedding, um, and I never seriously dated a Jewish man be- in fear of if I fall in love with him and marry him, now I'm stuck in a Jewish wedding. I don't. I didn't want that custom because I didn't want to feel well, hostage. Well, your new boy is a Jewish boy. Uh, Superman is listen, Jewish. Listen, listen. He's not Superman rules. yet. He's only Clark Kent. Anyway. anyway. Anyways, anyway. my dear children, uh, I want you to know we are here to fight for you. Heshi Tishler is going to be the next councilman. I have a way head lead. I am the front runner. I don't have an ego. I want you to come support me. I'm going to win this. I'm going to serve not just my district like some reporters. Says, oh, you only have to serve your district. No, nope. my children. I'm serving the entire city, all women, all men, all religions. Come out, help me, support me. Just enough Heshi at gmail.com or uh, you can go to heshitishler.com. Thank you so much. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.